So NSIG AI is a machine learning solutions company. And our primary goal is to make machine learning accessible to asset managers. We've built a suite of products that allows them to interact with their data in a way in which they can see and experience information that they've never had a chance to do so before because it's underpinned by very sophisticated machine learning algorithms. Uh, and that's really core to, to what we're trying to bring to market. We set up Insight Capital three years ago, which is now going to be listed as InSig AI. Uh, and you know, very early on, we were able to generate revenues. Uh, and back in March 2020, we had revenues of 2.7 million pounds. And what we discovered was that there is a massive demand for this shift from what we would call old school or antiquated technologies to a new and modern way of running your business. Uh, we very quickly realized that the growth potential for us was vast uh, and it made a lot of sense for us to consolidate our product strategy and to, and in the situation we're now, is, is to come to market. I uh, spent the early part of 2000 at Goldman Sachs uh, learning a lot about uh, financial technologies and building uh, highly scalable data infrastructures. Uh, with my partner Warren Pearson who is our CTO and following that uh, spent four years in Silicon Valley uh, where we learned a lot about machine learning uh, and cloud computing. Those two core skill sets form the basis of what InSig AI offers the market today. A lot of the asset managers we've come across are still using antiquated databases, antiquated data infrastructures, and they haven't really made the shift to, to modern technology. Uh, there's an estimated capital spend of up to $8.4 billion over the next four years, just in this space around adopting new technologies. And I think INSIG is very well positioned to be able to deliver a lot of the, the, the product requirements that this industry needs. The audience that we generally deal with are very uh, experienced and skilled in financial investing, but they really don't understand uh, aspects around modern technology. So I think one of the things we provide that, that makes us unique is, is taking the time to show people how this stuff works and breaking down the algorithms and actually showing the workings. So when we run a series of models and machine learning models on their data, we actually show them the underlying assumptions, we show them the outputs, we show them exactly why a decision was made throughout the process. And in as much as quantum physics or having a PhD in quantum physics is exciting, it's basically just maths. And when you break it down to its component parts, the, the trust that it engenders uh, is massive. And asset managers want to stand behind their decisions uh, and they need to understand what these models are doing. So I think that's one of the components that we offer. The other is the the interactivity or the product itself. Um, in a world where you can pick up your phone and you can order a taxi and it'll be with you in seconds, people have become used to technology that looks good uh, and that interacts well. And we spend a lot of time building our software to be very easy to use and very clickable. Um, so a simple username and password, you log into your product and then you have access to your data and you have access to this immense power of the machine learning algorithms that go with it. When we started out, we were a, a core consulting business uh, and we generated money by providing consulting services and helping asset managers transform their internal infrastructure and their, their way of, of processing data to, to a modern uh, approach. Where we, where we are focused now is a a SaaS-based model where our products will be licensed. We will, we will sell our products on a license-based uh, revenue income stream. Uh, it's an annual license fee uh, per user. Um, where we see the growth potential is that the, the potential to add additional models and additional capabilities within each of these products is vast. So with a continually changing environment around data that's available, uh, and models that you can apply to the data, we see our revenue having an incremental growth potential where we'll start out with a standard license-based user fee 
Uh, and then over time, as we get to know our clients better and we get to know their data better, we can offer more um, modern and, and, and machine learning enabled solutions. And that's one of the areas where we, we plan to expand our revenue growth. So in the first instance, our plan is really around delivering our two flagship products. Uh, one is InSig Portfolio and uh, InSig ESG, our ESG research tool. This is certainly where we see there is the biggest demand uh, for, for what we're doing. In both instances, it's uh, provide easy access to, to data that's critical to make uh, good investment decisions. And uh, in both cases, what we're trying to do is deliver a simple interface that, that asset managers can use to interrogate data uh, quickly. Uh, they get the benefit of machine learning through the process. And in this first use case, we see the, the growth being around early adoption to a machine learning process to, to get people comfortable with what's possible using newer technologies. Um, and the, the license based model really is where we can sign up hundreds if not thousands of users to our products and really give them the entry level to what's possible. The, the, the plan is to, is to embed ourselves in uh, mid-size asset managers and then sell up and down a, a vertical where if we'll start out with an equity team we can then move over to a fixed income team and then ESG and credit team. The, the key bit of our framework is that it's that it's market agnostic. It doesn't matter if you're an equity focus or credit focus. Uh, it's really once you've plumbed the data in to the system it then becomes readily accessible and useful to, to that audience. The predominant target that we see is in is in UK and Europe and the United States. Uh, we are well positioned to sell into both uh, areas, or all three areas at least. And uh, because we're a, a web-based or platform-based business, the the process of signing people up, getting them access to the information, is really where we see us being able to grow quite quickly, uh, because they simply have to log into a system. Uh, as opposed to the good old fashioned days when you had to deploy a fixed box and stick it under their desk. The core reason why we, we decided to, to list the company is really around being able to scale quickly, uh, having access to, to capital. Uh, and I think something that attracted us to it was also the fact that there are very few machine learning companies in the asset management industry that are are available for investment. Uh, typically, if you want to invest in a, a in a tech company or a fintech company, you have to be part of a private equity firm or you have to be part of a special group. Um, so I think in that sense, it makes us quite a unique uh, business. I think also, you know, we have a strong belief that as a, as a UK, as a London-based business, uh, we are central in the asset management and the financial industry. And I think it's quite a, uh, a unique opportunity for us to, to make a mark and to and to bring our technology and our financial technology to market based in London, uh, listed on the AIM Stock Exchange, uh, I think it's quite an exciting prospect. Uh, we, we, we have a fundamental belief that, that London should be the, the Silicon Valley of, of, of Europe. Uh, and we also think that uh, being central in the financial world, we're very well placed to, 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 to make an impact. The question around the way the world has changed in, in COVID uh, and the adoption of technology has certainly increased the demand for what we're doing. It has highlighted to, to many, many companies that they can work independently, but that their dependence on technology has grown. Uh, so from a, from a software perspective, we think that delivering a software-based application to asset managers is going to accelerate their ability to compete with uh, the Black Rocks, the Renaissance, the Two Sigmas of the world. But being a listed business gives us more flexibility and certainly more agility to be able to grow quickly.